So I work with 10 dimensions and all the rectangles are a golden section and they nest, I think is important. Like they fit into each other. Usually what happens first is I look at the space. The architecture of the exhibition is the first thing. So I uh, decided to make a panorama. I really didn't know what it was gonna be because it was impossible to draw it. And I like the idea of trying to make something that grew. I didn't know what was gonna happen at that vanishing point for the longest time. I thought something might happen, but then it became obvious that actually nothing could happen there. I definitely think textiles are deeply related to the digit. So there's this whole kind of research that keeps going and, and I put it into the paintings. And that has to do with perspective. That was the basic formal problem I had to think about. And then literally what is the bodily experience of somebody in front of a painting today, now in an exhibition space? The moment that it was abolished in a way from painting or taken out was the moment perspective totally took over. I don't like it when people say my work is personal because I kind of feel everybody's work is unavoidably personal at all times. So I don't know, this, it's not about revealing, I'll say, the personal. I feel very happy that I was able to grow up before the computer. We're in this computer now, and in this picture. I do think painting is really important to think about that image problem now, which is huge. It's, it's taking over language. But nevertheless, we want to always read an image. So if there's a letter or a word, it's the authority. I always think the reader is smarter than the writer. That's my perspective, like they're ahead of me. They see it better than I see it because they see it in this way that isn't with all my intention. <laughs>